In the auto market like North America, there are never enough pickup trucks. And with the ongoing trend of making them more luxurious than ever, it doesn't surprise that pretty much everyone anticipates the comeback of the Escalade EXT. Will the 2025 Cadillac pickup come back? Let's find out. 2025 Cadillac pickup. What to expect? Younger generations may be surprised, but the 2025 Cadillac pickup isn't some revolutionary idea. GM's luxury brand figured out that making a pickup version of the famous SUV might be a good idea long ago. The SUV was launched in the late 1990s, and it instantly became a hit, especially among the new generation Richmond. But the company wanted to bring this kind of luxury closer to more common types of wealthy households in North America, and introduced the EXT pickup version of the original Escalade SUV, with open beds and other practical modifications that usually come with pickups. The second generation came in 2007, but none of the two was particularly successful in terms of sales numbers, so the company decided to kill it in 2014. Since then, every now and then, we've been hearing rumors about its comeback, but today, that's more likely than ever, because the market is full of well-equipped pickups that tend to be more luxurious and people seem to like that. It seems like a perfect opportunity for Cadillac, and we have no doubt that the management is figuring out ways to grab it. But then, there's the main dilemma. Should it be a classic, ICE-powered pickup? Or maybe this is a perfect opportunity to embrace all-electric technology, considering that the Escalade IQ was already there? Let's break this down and see what the possibilities are. 2025 Cadillac Escalade IQ Pickup Unveiled The all-electric Escalade has already been presented, with astonishing styling and new technology, borrowed from other SUVs that utilize the new Altium battery technology. As the pickup version, it has already been unveiled, though only on the internet, by unofficial but quite reliable sources, such as Atoya.com, known for its very precise predictions. That render shows a clear design, essentially the same as in the case of the electric SUV, with the only difference on the rear end, where the third row and cargo areas got replaced by a decently sized cargo bed. Of course, the cabin design would also look the same, with those massive screens and high-end materials. And no surprises would be expected under the sheet metal, because the pickup would utilize the same 24 battery modules with 200 kilowatt hour in capacity, which is plenty enough to ensure over 450 miles on a single charge, while the max output from two electric motors would go up to 750 horsepower. But despite the impressive numbers and overall design, we still don't believe that the all-electric version is going to happen, and we will explain why. Electric Cadillac pickup and why it's not going to happen. There are several reasons why we think that the Cadillac pickup won't be all-electric. First of all, there is the matter of price. Namely, the SUV model is expected to start around $130,000, so it's hard to believe that the pickup iteration would be any cheaper. And that's still way too much for potential high-end pickup customers. But the price most likely wouldn't be the key issue. The main problem would be in-house competition. First of all, there's the GMC Hummer EV, which probably attracts the same type of customers, not to mention a pretty similar price. Then, there's the GMC Sierra EV Denali Edition 1, the most luxurious version of the electric pickup, which already comes with a ludicrously high price tag of nearly $109,000. Developing an all-electric pickup like this would cost a fortune, and at the moment, we don't believe that GM has that kind of money considering the recent delays of the all-electric Silverado and new electric drive unit. But even if it has it, Cadillac would most likely lose money on this model because, sooner or later, the entire body-on-frame lineup will switch to the BT-1 platform. And this includes way more profitable models such as Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon, etc. For all these reasons, we believe that an ICE version is much more likely to happen so let's take a closer look at this one. 2025 Cadillac Pickup, ICE is the way to go. With all the issues we've just mentioned, it's pretty clear that a gas-powered pickup would be a much better choice. It would be cheaper, simpler, and probably way more appealing to regular customers. So the first thing to check is definitely the powertrain, which shouldn't bring any surprises. 
Therefore, we all expect base models to come with the well-known and proven L87 unit. This 6.2 liter V8 puts out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque and comes coupled with a 10-speed automatic transmission, which seems like a perfect combo for the entry-level Cadillac pickup. For those looking for more, let's not forget that Cadillac recently introduced a high-performance version of its full-size SUV with the supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that puts out 682 horsepower and just needs 4.3 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. Those are some crazy numbers and we have no doubt that the pickup iteration would offer a similar kind of performance. But why wouldn't the new pickup be offered as a diesel as well? After all, that's already the case with the SUV in that the powertrain option turned out to be a pretty good fit. Improved fuel economy is the key benefit, of course, along with plenty of low-end torque. Instead of 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet, the new version of the engine puts out 305 horsepower and quite impressive 495 pound-feet of torque. So we could say this particular version wouldn't lack straight-line performance either. Still, great fuel economy would remain its key strength, considering that the SUV can easily achieve over 30 miles per gallon on the highway. 2025 Cadillac Pickup what would it look like? Now that we have figured out potential powertrain options, let's get on the overall design. In this aspect, it's pretty easy to predict that the new Cadillac pickup would take the SUV version as its basis, both in terms of mechanics and aesthetics. The good thing is that the current generation Escalade SUV is still a pretty fresh and modern vehicle. It was introduced in 2021, and by modern, we are primarily thinking of its chassis and suspension setup considering that this generation finally ditched the solid axle and adopted independent rear suspension, providing superior ride quality. Despite being a pickup, the new model would keep such a setup because that kind of convenience has become a common thing even in this class of vehicles, where you can find models like Ram 1500 and Toyota Tundra with similar setups. Though it's needless to say that the Cadillac's pickup would outperform them in terms of comfort and convenience easily. As for the size, the long wheelbase of the Escalade SUV, known as the ESV, might be a perfect basis. That SUV features 134 inches between the axles, while the overall length goes up to 227 inches, which is only 4 inches shorter compared to the crew cab version of Silverado with the short bed. And if we consider that a luxurious pickup like this one wouldn't need a particularly utilitarian bed design, ESV's dimensions seem perfectly fine for a new pickup. That SUV is also 81.1 inches wide and features 76.6 inches in height, which, altogether, makes quite adequate proportions for a full-sized pickup. Do you think that a 134-inch wheelbase is enough for a Cadillac pickup? Or maybe GM should stretch it a little bit, to be on par with Silverado? Write in the comments! Let us know what you think about this. And, of course, make sure to subscribe, because more exciting previews are coming. Finally, a few words about aesthetics. Naturally, the front end design would remain the same or pretty close to the SUV version, with those angular headlights, a massive shield-like grille design, and other recognizable features that make the fifth generation Escalade look pretty aggressive. As mentioned, the key difference would be at the rear compartment, where the cargo area, as well as the third row, would be swapped for a cargo bed. If you look at the rendering images, they show a typical pickup layout, but if we look at the back and check the original EXT, things were a little bit different. In a common pickup, the cabin and the cargo bed are mounted on the grille separately. In the case of the old EXT, these were integrated. The bed was made of composite materials and it even featured a mid-gate design, which elevated the overall practicality and functionality to the next level. We presume that the new model could come with something similar. We don't believe that anyone would buy such a luxurious pickup to haul heavy loads, so a separated cargo bed doesn't seem all that necessary. Interior Design The Escalade SUV is arguably the most accomplished body-on-frame SUV you can buy on today's market, and that's partly because of its impressive interior design. With that said, we have no reason to believe that, in the case of pickup iteration, things would be any different. The dashboard would look the same, characterized by high-end materials all around, including leather-wrapped dash panels. Of course, there's the massive combo of three curved screens, 
which take 38 inches diagonally, while things like aluminum speaker grills and adjustable interior ambient lighting only add even more to the overall sense of opulence. As for the passenger space, the new pickup would, just like the original EXT, come with four full-size doors, meaning that both rows would be extremely generous with space. With 44.5 inches of front seat legroom and 41.7 inches in the second row, the SUV is beyond impressive, and we presume that the pickup would feature the same amount of interior room and accommodate adults with ease. As mentioned, the open cargo bed would take the place on the third row, and we presume it would be around 5.5 feet long. Release date and price. The ICE 2025 Cadillac pickup could arrive already by the end of this year, and we don't believe that the starting price could be significantly different compared to the SUV, which is available at around $84,000. What do you think about the 2025 Cadillac pickup? Has the time for a luxurious pickup truck finally come, and can the new iteration be more successful than the old EXT? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching and see you next time!